Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to You Get What You Pay For with Robert Brown. Right there in front of you is a, a knife with a problem. It was brand new and it had an issue and it had a defective washer. So it's the Wii Starhawk. So I reached out to Wii uh, on their Instagram page actually, actually uh, I did take it apart and that's it wasn't closing very well at all so I took it apart and I discovered it had a defective washer uh, what I did was I flipped the washer over and then lubed it and then it sort of got better but here are the washers, and they came from Mandy. Mandy, from here in China. So thank you, Wee. Um, took a long time to get here, but it got here. So little washers, little tiny washers. Okay, so they sent me four washers because I actually had a problem with the the black opus black void opus uh, also has a defective washer so they sent me four washers so what I'm going to do is I'm going to <clears throat> open up this knife and then I'm going to replace the washer for you all right let me grab some tools Okay, so it's morning. Good morning, everybody. Um, cheers on the coffee, guys. Whoever likes coffee. Girls, anybody? Any girls watching this? Mm. So I'm going to do this video, and then i got to go to work. I will quickly grab a tool here. I'm trying out this tool. It's a cheap tool I got on Amazon. The bits aren't very good, but the driver is good. There it is. Okay. First shot. All right. Now, there's no way I can really do this. I'll do it like that. Take this one out. I Loctited all this. So I will relock tight after replacing the washer. I can use the top of the tool as a tray. I have to take out the pocket clip. Okay. you all right those are off just take that put it just like that and then I think I have just this one more here and that would be it it's a little guy I even have to take that one out yep that one's a little little one this one I think is the inset one here um, so carefully take this off okay take out the stop pin that there Get that. I think it's. I think it's this washer. Need to get a magnet. Yep, that's the one. All right. So, see that line right there? I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but there is a little pressed in 
line right on that washer it's totally defective so I'm just gonna the knife is all clean so I'm just gonna simply put a new washer in there and put it back together and that's actually the hardest part because <clears throat> you have to lay down the top handle there with precision because of the machining is so well done and I'm just gonna put this washer new washer right there yeah so the machining is so well done this has to go down perfectly so I'm just gonna drop I'm gonna drop the stop pin in And then, <clears throat> like I said, the hard part is putting this down flat and evenly so it doesn't rock on. So I'm going to quickly do that because it's kind of fidgety. So I'll do that and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I lay down the plate, the top plate or handle or scale, whatever you want to call it, and you have to just go down perfectly flat or otherwise it'll rock up back in the front or rock in the back so because it's got this little this is like an inset collar here so that's stuck up and you gotta lay the plate down on that and then over here you have your D shape um, <clears throat> pivot and if you push down it'll, you'll push the pivot out so you have to keep it on a flat surface. That's my little words of wisdom. I don't think anybody has done a, a disassembly of a Starhawk before. So all I'm going to do quickly now is I'm going to lock tight the hardware and put it back together. So yeah, um, it's just lock tight. That's 248 and I use the blue the stick because it doesn't go all over the place and you can just dip right in there doesn't take too much if you have a gob blob there just take the blob off and don't eat it and don't stick it in your eyes it's not good my cat tasted it I was like what are you doing so I put that down uh, just a turn to get the thread started and then I'm gonna go back over to the back did I do this one so I do a little here and a little there to keep the thing flat keep the handle flat now I can take this pretty much not all the way tight I don't want to put anything all the way tight until all the hardware is in probably can't see that because my fat hands in the way but I'm just putting the hardware back into the into the pocket clip here there it goes do both pockets clip try to do them at the same time there you go doing those at the same time too there I've got a little shadow sorry <clears throat> and now everything just needs to be snug all of them and the knife is back together all right let me just put my tools away okay so now my final step is to just go around and give them all an equal but not too not too tight snug all the hardware that I just took off you don't have to try to break it just because it's got Loctite on it you just snug everything up 
and the Loctite will keep it in place. <clears throat> okay, and then the final test is to make sure the pivot is completely flush over here. If it is sticking up at all and you feel that pivot, you know that you don't have it right. So just take it apart and start over again. So that's it. It's back together with a new washer. And break that baby in a little bit. And hopefully it'll start performing better. And that's it. All right. Like and subscribe. I will keep on repairing knives as I find issues with them. I will do the uh, Black Opus next. I just have to go to work and make the money to buy the knives. <laughs> All right, everybody. Take care.